all right guys how are you all doing i'm fiesta here and today we have galax launching their y2 geforce rtx 4070 ti gpu in japan gigabyte announced their ryzen 7000x 3d bios support for the x670 and b650 motherboards amd ryzen 9 7950x 3d is basically beating i9 3900k in the new geekbench single core test and lastly, AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D is also faster on average compared to the i9 3900K in a leaked AMD review guide. So firstly, we have a retailer in Japan basically posting this in their shop online e-market e or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, basically a GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Galax Edition, which is the white variant has been released only in Japan right now. Basically, I haven't seen this in all over the world yet. So Japan is getting the white variant first for the 4070 Ti Galax, of course. And as you can see, it's quite looking good. It's basically the same model as the Galax has the default, but with the white variant or white accent, you want to call it. But yeah, it's basically the same thing. And again, the PCIe Express Gen 5 connector, very normal now. They also support a support stick that, you know, has been included so that's good i guess this gpu is heavier i mean i aren't aren't all the gpus so yeah kind of makes sense so yeah the geforce rtx 4070 ti white edition from galax is now in J released in japan hopefully it will be coming in the whole world anytime soon i guess next up we have a tech power of article and they're saying that the uh well basically gigabyte basically announced their bios upgrade for the ryzen 7000x 3d processors and as you can see this is the advertisement coming from the Geek gigabyte aurus and all the motherboards from ax670 and b650 series from gigabyte will be supporting 7000x 3d series which kind of makes sense because uh, 7000 x 3d is going to be launching very soon and i believe all the other uh, motherboards will be getting the support soon so hopefully you might be ready for that next up we have a geekbench 5 cpu search result for the 7950x 3d and as you can see there there are uh, six of them and the maximum we're getting is the single core score of 2271 which was on february 2nd or 22nd i should say and yeah that's the 7950x 3d clocking at 4200 kind of strange that uh, most of them are clocking the same but got less scores but this one is getting the most which is nice but if you look into the i9 here, well, basically, it's quite on par in Geekbench. Well, there's only one score we're looking at that is better than the 2271, I guess that was the score. So yeah, I guess this is on par, but in other results, uh, we're getting that i9 is losing against the 7950X, uh, 7950X 3D, I should say. But then again, 7950X 3D should be tested way more now because only six results are... Uh, published so it should be a, the results are margin of error so it should be a problem for now to really compare it we have to wait and see how many other results have you know similar kinds of performance results and if that is the case then we might be looking at that 7950x 3d might be beating i9 3900k so that would be interesting because there's another follow-up story to this that kind of proves that 7950x 3d is quite better in gaming of course and next up obviously the story that we're going to talk about which is kind of huge because that's the leaks literally coming from the amd review guide so that is interesting so if you look into it this is the well, leaked information that we're get looking at and well the gray mark is what they look they're considering the base which is the 3900k and the 7950 x3d with 3d vcash as you can see in most of the games is quite leading right here as you can see in horizon zero dawn is leading one to 20 well 27 percent lead so that's quite huge i have to say f1 2021 getting 21 percent also quite big watch dust legion 16 percent lead which is good enough i wouldn't mind that dota 2 also getting 15 percent very good lead final fantasy 14 shadow brain bringers i haven't played this game but yeah whatever 15 percent increase so that's quite good rainbow six siege another cpu intense you know game so it should require some cpu juice 13 person lead so not bad it, anything like literally any improvement is helpful guardians of the galaxy getting 111 basically 11 person lead so that's also nice shadow of the tomb raider nine percent as well as deus ex mankind divided middle earth shadow of wars getting eight percent as well as final fantasy 14 in walker and we're looking some little gains here as you can see like hitman 3 device benchmark that we have 
uh, six person lead, not a huge lead, but still a lead. Drift five, four percent, and then Borderlands three, two percent, two percent is go same goes for the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which again, these games we're looking at Tiny Tina's Wonderland, Hitman three. Uh, and Warhammer and Total Wars. These games are literally not that much, you know, CPU intensive. So I guess uh, there's not much to talk about. There's a loss here, as you can see in the Ashes of the Singularity. That's the CPU benchmark test. So in, weirdly enough, as in the Ashes of the Singularity, it kind of loses. So very interesting benchmark there that it's losing in the actual CPU test that basically all the reviewers use. But... In other games that are, you know, CPU intensive, they're winning. So very interesting benchmark there. But overall, we're looking at a 6% increase in performance for the 7950X3D compared to the 3900K. So not bad, I have to say. But there is still a but because 3900KS, we don't know that comparison yet, right? So I wonder what Intel has to offer against the 7950X3D because... The KS model should be better than the 3900K, right? But how much? We don't know. And is it good enough to beat 7950X3D? Because even 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 if it beats, literally, like, it's not a huge gain. Again, remember, 6% on average is not a huge gain still. But if you consider only the CPU-intensive titles, right? It's quite a lot. So I have to we have to see what 3900KS has to offer. So then we might be seeing a real picture because, again, 7950X3D should compete against the 3900KS, not only K, right? So we'll see about that. Also, not to mention the memory speed that they're using here is the DDR5-6000. So that you need to look into because, again, uh, AMD have, has also shared that information that 6000 for the studio year five you know frequency is the perfect sweet spot so i guess that is uh correct here and we have more detailed well basically a calculation we're looking at for the ryzen 9 750 x3 for the fps of course and you can see the comparison i will be giving this and uh, the link in the description so that you can look into it and understand properly and make decision if you want to buy you know so yeah this is the basically the fps benchmark that or more detailed benchmark you're looking at but overall the one that I've shown you here basically is basically that has been leaked. So interesting enough that 750X3D is quite fast. I have to say only when we consider the, uh, well, the CPU title, CPU based benchmarks, of course. So that is something that we have to look into because they're quite big, not bad.